Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Let's talk some more about factoring trinomials, uh, particularly by making the uh, first or lead term positive. All right, factoring trinomials. All right, we have a trinomial that looks like, well, let's try this one. How about negative 2x squared Hmm, minus 5x plus 3. <clears throat> now, this is going to be kind of hard to factor with that negative in front, so let's just take that negative out, and we'll put it on the side for the moment, and then just factor this. Now, what happens is that, because this is no longer negative, that becomes positive, this negative 5x becomes positive, positive 5x and that positive 3 becomes negative 3. The ma magic of math. Now all we need to do is factor. Um, we've got factors of 2 and 1 and 1 and 2 and then we have factors of 3 and 1 and 1 and 3. So we need to figure out where all those go. And it's a bit of a bit of a you know, practice so let's try 2x uh, minus 1 and x plus 3. Alright, so, and we have to remember, keep the negative there, bring that down just so you don't forget. <clears throat> so 2x squared, that's right, 2x, we're foiling. First, outer, inner, last, foiling. First, outer, so 2x. Uh, plus, or 2x times 3 is 6x, minus one, one, negative 1 times x is negative x, and then negative 1 times positive 3 is, uh, is negative 3. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is the same thing as this one here, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. 6x minus x is 5x, so our answer is uh, negative 2x minus 1 in parentheses x plus 3. That is our solution for factoring these trinomials. <clears throat> we'll be getting into uh, quadratic um, quadratic equations and quadratic trinomials, quadratics, very soon. Thank you for watching. Let's take that equation over to Wolfram Alpha and make sure we've got it entered correctly. Uh, negative 2x to the second power minus 5x plus 3. Is that correct? No, this was a positive here. All right, now let's try it. And what kind of uh, what kind of parabola do you think it's going to plot? It's going to cup or is it going to mountain? And if you said mountain, you were right. There it is. There's the equation. And uh, negative, uh, yeah, interesting. Negative 2x minus 1. This is all positive, so I wonder if I put in the equation incorrectly. Um, yeah, either way though, you'll see that this uh, one half is and is positive, that becomes a negative for the roots, that becomes negative. And the, um, the two x becomes the denominator and the, uh, the addition or the, uh, uh, the other number becomes the numerator. Let me just check this equation. I think I might have made a mistake. 
I did. That was. Well, let's try it this way 2x two x squared times that's what I no, that's not right. Plus five x plus three. All right, let's see if that changes anything. Well, the parabola is our uh, mountains. And negative x plus 1, 2x plus 3 definitely gives us a different, uh, definitely gives us a different problem or a different answer. Let's just clean out all of the variables I started with. Make that plus three. Let's see if that works differently. All of these work. It's just uh, comparing what we anticipated. All right, those are definitely. Oh, right, 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 right. It's a negative, 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 negative. Because so we're definitely expecting mountains and not cups. Hmm. Well, what uh, is giving me pause is that the al alternate form for this particular equation is opposite to what I had calculated. So I'm curious to see what I might have done wrong. And whether or not it matters. 2x minus 3, no, 2x minus 1. All right, so let's just do that again. <clears throat> 2x x squared, 2x plus 3 equals 6x minus x minus 3. And that's our original equation. Hmm. Well, this is. Uh, I'm gonna have to flag this one with my friends. See what I've, um, what I, how I might have made a mistake. Thanks for watching. And uh, it is good to live in doubt. No doubt, indeed. Math is very satisfying when it's right. And even more curious when you think it's right and the computer or a computer or someone else tells you that you are wrong. Accept it. Live with it. Embrace it. Be happy that there are actually problems out there that do have answers that can be found on pen and paper.